What's up, YouTube? Today, you know, earlier today, obviously, um, I was having a debate with my friend. And this is a gaming-related topic. Uh, we were talking next gen, you know, Xbox One, PlayStation Four. We're talking about games like Destiny, Division. You know, games that haven't come out yet. You know, Sunset Overdrive, Halo. I mean, we talked about all that, and uh, somehow it went on to us talking about handhelds. And we talked about the 3DS, we talked about the Vita, two of which I do not own. Um, then we you know, we actually went back and we talked about the PSP. Now, I still own the PSP. Um, PSP right here. This is actually the 1000. This is the oldest model. Um, I've had it since day one. I haven't gotten rid of, rid of it. Um, you know, a big reason why I haven't got rid of it because it's, uh, you know, it has some problems with it, so I probably wouldn't get a damn thing with it. Um, like the back of it still opens up, not, and you know, some it has a problem trouble reading UMDs. All my games are digital, on you know, the games that I do have. Um, but you know, we, we started talking about the PSP, and it it, it kind of got around to, you know, he he he, he you know he what. First and foremost, he didn't play the PSP that much. And he played a few games. Um, he, he didn't own one. And he go, you know, he goes and says, you know, while we're talking about some of the games, I'm, you know, I'm actually listening to some games that you know he might recognize. While I'm doing that, he just goes and says, the PSP, you know, you know, the PSP doesn't have any games. You know, all because it is kind of, it, he kind of puts it in the same light as a, uh, with the Vita, you know, it is saying PSP is just like that. You know, Sony falling down the same road. Albeit, this guy really doesn't like Sony products. You know, doesn't like PlayStation Three, and he likes the older PlayStation systems because you know, you had no choice but to like those. You know, those systems, PlayStation One, PlayStation Two, were fucking legendary. But you know, after that, he really doesn't like you know, don't like Sony any of the Sony consoles. You know, PS Three, PS Four, PSP, Vita. You know. He really didn't like those. And, you know, that's fine. Whatever. But to sit there and say, the PSP doesn't have any games? And I said, okay, um, I'm going to go list off some games that I've played, you know, either finished or, you know, I played enough to get a, give a, you know, give a good review of it or a good impression of it. Um, I actually wrote all the games down because, you know, I had to really dig to, you know, I remember most of them, but uh, some of them, you know, I had to check some of the memory on it. You know, cause I still got all the saved data for it. So, I'm matter of fact, I got the list right here on Notepad. I'm gonna go through the list. And I'm, I'm gonna tell you all the games. This come, this might take a little bit. Um, Daxter, which if you know who Jack and Daxter is, it was actually a game solely about um, Jack's sidekick was Daxter. A solid platforming game, Ratchet and Clank. Um, it's called Size Matters. Um, that's a good game if you ever played any of the Ratchet and Clank, ga Clank games on uh, you know, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 2. That's a good game. Half Minute Heroes, like an indie game, um, but it's actually a pretty, pretty good one. Um, Kills on Liberation is actually one of the better looking, uh, you know, of its time, one of the better looking handheld games. Um, definitely a fun game. Um, Ace Combat X. I played a little bit of it. You know, you don't get too many flight simulators. Definitely don't get too many flight simulators on handheld. So, I thought that was a solid game. Resistance Retribution was great. Burnout Legends was great. Um, it came out right after Revenge and really followed that same mode, but in like the handheld, you know, the handheld version. Twisted Metal Head Arm. You know, it was the same Twisted Metal, um, you know, Car Carnage. That was another fun game. Wipeout Pure. You know, if you're a fan of F Zero from you know Super Nintendo N64, you'll like Wipeout, obviously. Um, Star Ocean Second Evolution. This is the um, sequel to the Star Ocean that was on PlayStation One. It's a good, another good game. I always say this name wrong for this next game. It's called Y Seven. If I'm saying it wrong, please let me know. Um, one and two were both on PSP. Um, the game can actually at points be pretty damn hard. Um, but I ended up finishing one. Played a little bit of two, didn't get a chance to finish it. 
uh, siphon filter, dark mirror. Um, if you know what siphon filter is, it was a PlayStation One game. You know, one, two, and three were all on PlayStation. Um, it was more so it was like a, it was like a third. It's like a third person game. You know, use uses some stealth elements, but it was also you know running and gunning. Um, that was actually the last one that came out. It was rumors that they were, were going to um, reboot the franchise, but never did. Um, next we have Soul, Cal you know, Soul Calibur Broken Destiny. Um, this is a Soul Calibur game that didn't think it came out around a little bit after four. It came out a little bit after four. Um, it had Kratos in it. You know, who's in, you know is the guy from God of War. And he was the uh, the exclusive character that was on that game, but you know it's a it's a good game. It's Soul Calibur before they put all the the garbage in it. Um, next Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. Come on, it's a Kingdom Hearts game. I mean, who didn't play that game? You know, I, if you if you're a fan of the series, why, why wouldn't you play that game? Uh, another good game, the City of, is the um, Final Fantasy the City. It's a versus game with Final Fantasy characters. Enough said. Um, Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Store is one of the you know one of the highest selling games. I believe it was the highest selling game on PSP. If you're a fan of Grand Theft Auto, how could you pass up on such a thing? And it goes the same with um, Vice City Stories. It was essentially the same thing, but it told us you know it told stories playing as you know other characters, which kind of segues into the game. If you ever played Grand Theft Auto Three and you play Vice City, you know those those stories segue with the game. It was either during the events of the game or you know before it. Um, Valkyrie Chronicles was just like an RPG. It's like a third-person RPG shooter. It's a, it's a good game. Street Fighter Alpha 3 Max. Um, it's a remake of, you know, obviously Alpha 3, but it had a, you know, it included a lot of content. Then it, you know, the plus was it had, it was on handheld, and you didn't get too many hand, you know, fighters on hand on a handheld, and it impacted a lot of content. And Street Fighter. I mean, Street Fighter Alpha is amazing. Next is uh, Mega Man Maverick Hunter, which is a remake of Mega Man X. You know, obviously the sprites and stuff have been changed. Um, it's going more with... I don't know, you just have to see it, but, you know, it's still still a good game. If you're a fan of the Mega Man series, you definitely should play that. Castlevania Dracula X Chronicles. I believe that came with another game. Can't remember the name of the game. It's been a while since I played it. Um... But, you know, it's a it's a good Castlevania game. You know, you know how the Castlevania games play. You know, it's a big it's a big maze, and you know, you go around killing monsters. You know, I'm I'm trying to keep these pretty brief because I this list is kind of big. Um, Power Stone Collection. Um, you know, this is uh if you ever played Power Stone for the Dreamcast, this came out around I'm gonna say like about 2006, 2007. and you know, this was after the Dreamcast had essentially you know Sega had went under. So, you know, seeing this game, you know, both one and two on a, you know, you know, on one single uh UMD disc, uh, you know, that's what they were called. You know, one one single disc was amazing because, you know, and then, and also I say it, you get it to go. It's another game where you get it to go. Um it was an amazing game. You had to put a lot of hours, especially in two. One, not so much. It was mainly just verses, but two had a lot of items you could make. And that was, a, you know, that was another game. You know, this is after the Dreamcast went out, um, Sega went under, and then this game came out. Next is Monster Hunter Freedom. You know, there was a Monster Hunter two. Played a little bit of this, not a lot, but you know, I, it's it's a good game. If, you know, if you know I found um, Monster Hunter plays, you, know, you pretty much know the game. Uh, Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core, great game, um, exclusive title to the to the PSP, and one of the titles that people got a PSP for. Another title that people got a PSP for was Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker. Um, obviously, we know it's on. You know, it came out with an HD collection, so it's on 360. It's on. Uh, it's on PS3, but for about three or four years, it was just on PSP. And when that game came out, it was amazing. I mean, we we know about the Metal Gear Solid franchise. Another one uh, that came out before Metal Gear Solid Pro Portable Ops. Another good game. Uh, next thought was Battlefront Running Gate Squadron. Um, you know, obviously we know Battlefront One and Two that was on PS2. 
this was uh you know this one actually had a different story and you know you could play as you know more characters they added a couple more planets you know it was a it was a game it it was a different entry in the in um you know the franchise that was exclusive onto the PSP uh let's see and yeah, we only got a couple left uh, God of War Chains of Olympus. Um, of course, you know, the, you know, if you know anything about Sony, you know the God of War franchise started back in on the PS2. With God of War One and Two, you know, of course, finished with God of War Three, and pending anything, we might see another one. Um, Chains of Olympus took place before God of War One. Um, that's pretty much all I'm say. If you haven't played the game, I mean, it's been a while, so really nothing out of spoilers. But I'm only going to keep it brief. You know, it took place before the first game. You know, you play as Kratos, obviously. Great game. You know, it was, pretty, it was essentially, you know, God of War on the handheld. Who wouldn't want that? Next, you had Ghost of Sparta, which took place between 1 and 2. You know, it, it, it kind of seg segue in, the, you know, the, the gaps between the games, which, you know, they wanted to do on the handheld system instead of doing it on, you know, their home console. And I think you know it's definitely sold some PSP by doing that. That that there's a whole bunch of other games that I can go off. Um, Metal Slug, um, but that was on the PS2 as well. You know, you had they had a Sega collection that was also on you know other consoles. But I'm just saying as a portable device, you know, I, I named you know most of what I named were exclusive. That's kind of the reason why I left some of them off. You know, then there's a lot of titles that you know. That you had to import a lot of titles that you know, were difficult to find, or just some titles I haven't played. And you know, it's actually been a while. Maybe I'll go back and play them. Um, they, they, like I said, they're gonna be they they'll be difficult to find. I probably have to find another way to get them. But you know, as I told in the list, I I was like, man, I'll tell me, I named games from different genres. You had RPGs, you had third person shooters. You know, really the only genre that, you know, it didn't really touch was first-person shooters. And that was because first-person shooters were very difficult to do on handhelds. You know, the furthest you see them went, see them go is, like, um, uh, Resistance, um, Resistance Liberation. I mean, Retribution, I'm sorry. That's, that's as far as I've seen them go, and that was a third person. Um, you know, you had your RPGs, you had third-person shooters, um, you had puzzle games, I think it was called Luminous, Loco Roco, uh, Patapone, which is game, you know, those are three games that just came off the top of my head right then that I didn't even talk about. Um, you know, you had your strategy games, I think it was called, uh, Tactical Org, I might be saying that wrong. Um, you had the Final Fantasy Tactical Game, you know, you had your strategy games, um, you know, you had, as I said, you had puzzles. You had your yeah sandbox games with Grand Theft Auto, and I also didn't mention Chinatown Wars. Only thing, only reason I didn't mention that was because it was a DS game as well. Um, but you know, you had all types of genres, and you know, good games from for those genres. And at at that point, he was like, "Okay, I guess I was wrong." You know, cause, you know, I named I named franchises they played on other consoles, and. You know, I told him to check out some of those other franchises on YouTube. Look at gameplay. You know, obviously, you know, the graphics are dated. It's an old portable system, but the games were fun, and most of them you can still go back and play. So, you know, I actually, I actually, one of my first time, <laughs> him actually conceding in the debate. M most of the time, even from right, he don't give a damn. But you know, with all that facts that I did bring, you know, obviously, still opinion if you like the games or not. But a lot of those games. Or games you play somewhere else, you know, just a different, uh, um, uh, a different game in the series, and essentially the same thing, but just a different game. It's essentially the same thing. So I'm from, I'm done. Um, video went on 14 minutes. Um, let me know if you know, did you ever own a PSP? Um, you know, did you ever own a PSP? Do you still have it? And what are some of your favorite games? I'm going to have a, the list of all these games if you didn't uh, catch them. I'm going to have a list of all these games um, that I mentioned in this video down in the comments section. I mean, down in the um, description. Um, of course, hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe. Thanks for watching.